Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many C-sharp developers encounter. Our viewer is looking for a way to initialize default values for out variables in C-sharp 7 when using triparse. They want to ensure that if the parsing fails, they still receive a default value instead of an uninitialized variable. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To initialize a default value for an out variable in C Sharp 7, we need to understand how out variables work. When using triparse, we can set a default value before the triparse call. In your case, you want to use triparse to convert a string to a long. If the conversion fails, you want to return a default value of 123. Let's see how we can achieve this. Instead of trying to initialize the out variable directly in the triparse method, we can declare the variable beforehand and assign the default value. Here's how you can do it. This code first initializes the variable code with the default value of 123. Then it attempts to parse the input. If parsing fails, code remains 123. By following this approach, you ensure that your out variable has a default value when triparse fails, while adhering to the C Sharp 7 out variable syntax. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can't initialize default values for out variables in c 7 using triparse. The .NET runtime only knows if triparse succeeded or failed, but not if the result is valid. For clarity, you can create a method that negates the triparse result. This way, you can handle default values more explicitly. Now consider when you want to use your default value. It's important to understand the context of your application. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.